no matter what's going on. Yeah. Um, but do you celebrate it? Um, only the food, family, present side presents, of it. Yeah. Not really the going to church and mass side of it. Okay. Yeah, so the presents because of my son and that. The commercial side of it. Yeah, basically, yeah. <laughs> right. Living in this country, you know, you're... It's a tradition, yeah. so to speak. But, um, but do you... Okay, so you don't go to church and stuff? No, 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 no. It's... We're Hindu. Oh, okay. So we've got, like, Diwali and all of that going on. Right. Um, and then we've also got about three or four festivals throughout the year for yeah. us. Yeah, And then Christmas and Easter and, yeah. Oh, so, um, doesn't, like, celebrating... Uh, a different religions like festival isn't that kind of doesn't it go against your no, belief no, no. at all? No, no, no. We're quite open. Okay. Um, accepting and quite open, and it's not. When you say open, are you talking about you yourself, your family, or, or like no, 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 Hindus just, just the religion general? as well. Like I've been, I've been to church quite. Um, I've been to a few because like, a few of my friends got married. I've been to a couple of christenings. Yeah. Um, and stuff. So it's it's you know I, I've been to mosques and I've also been to. Like Gurudwars and stuff. Right. Um, so it's not that you know you have to like we're, we're quite as a religion we're quite open and you know liberal. Okay. Yeah. Just not on the beef side. Yeah. And you know what you're living in this country you have to like yeah adjust to it. And... What about yourself? You. Me. I'm yeah. a, I'm a Muslim. Okay. Yeah. So, so do you celebrate or just? celebrate because the it, present side of it <laughs> well the thing is um well no because my mum's catholic okay that's the only reason why you celebrate uh well i don't i don't celebrate to be honest with you um but uh, you know i i was raised by her mm. um so i kind of grew up with school and everything it was all going on so it was a big part of like you know um probably Your childhood yeah you know, part yeah. of childhood and stuff but as I grew up I, and I, you know, seek knowledge and stuff like that, and I got more into my own religion, um, I found that there's quite a big, uh, like, clash, contradiction. Because the thing is, I mean, even the Christians, if you look deep into it, this is not even a Christian festival. Mm. It's actually a pagan festival. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's got <laughs> nothing to do with Christianity. Yeah. It's it's the actual event that people are celebrating is the, you know, the sun, S U N, mm -hmm. the sun's sun. That's okay. he was born on the twenty fifth because it doesn't right. say anywhere um, uh, no, that Jesus was, Jesus was born. Right. That you know <laughs> he's meant to have bought, be born on the, the hottest day of the year, mm -hmm. and December's far from that. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know. Definitely. So what happened is when they um, when they entwined it in uh, in Rome, um, they added a lot of paganism mm. into the religion so that it can be accepted by all. Yeah. And this event just kind of got tweaked. I mean, like even the days of the week, Thursday, which is Thor, you know, the yeah, god yeah, of, yeah, yeah so a, a Sunday, yeah. the day of the sun. So, I mean, there's a lot of paganism still embedded in our society. But um, that kind of knowledge has been washed over. Right, and, yeah. yeah, people don't really acknowledge and I think or recognize that. As well, they've taken all the things that are convenient. Right. And like just picked at different things and sort of just. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, like they, like they say, um, um, I don't know if you've seen those posts on like you know Facebook or whatever, but there's a lot of people saying like they have a picture of Santa and then there's a kid asking, "Where are you in the Bible?" <laughs> you know because oh. it's, it's a lot of it's, yeah. it's nothing. It's all commercialized now, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Money and stuff. No, definitely. So yeah, but um, the thing is, it's because we, you know, in Islam we believe in one God. Yeah. Like only one God, no yeah. other, no other gods, um, and that's like the biggest principle of Islam. So. To celebrate, um, so to speak, the Son of God, or, or whatever um, you have a view on Jesus, we believe he was a prophet. So it's a big contradiction. It's a big clash, and yeah, so we don't but then we don't I associate thought, with it. I thought Islam is accepting of Christianity, though, as in Judaism. So they have three pillars, aren't they? No, what it is is basically the um, the source. It, it, it all derived from the same source. Yeah. Okay. And then there was Jesus, Muhammad, and yeah, yeah. Who was it for? Uh, Judaism. Uh, it's Moses. Moses. They're all Abrahamic yeah, yeah. religions, right? Yeah. But the thing is, um, with Christianity and, and uh, Judaism, the Muslims believe that there's alterations. Mm -hmm. Like if you even look into, if you leave Islam on the side for a second and you look into the, the scriptures of uh, Judaism and um, the biblical uh, scriptures, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
uh, you'll find that all the messages, uh, messages, uh, the messages came with the same message, which is there is only one God. Yeah. So it wasn't up until what the what the Bible says about uh, Jesus. Even Jesus didn't cl claim to be, you know didn't claim divinity or ever said worship me. But there's a spin on it because those that believe in Jesus have said that he is the Son of God and he's the way forward and, and whatever else. Mm -hmm. But him himself said, I'm a man. Uh, believe in God yeah. you know so that is why Islam kind of came back to revive the original message mm -hmm. so yes we do believe what Judaism believes and there is a lot of like similarities and stuff but there's a lot of tweaking and kind of you know where the messages got mm -hmm. lost uh, over the years so that's kind of why yeah mm. you sound like a well-read man <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, you yourself, do you, um, I mean, are you like, um, I suppose your inheritance is, is Hinduism, yeah. right? Okay, but you yourself, what do you believe? In Hinduism, um, I think... Do you believe in God? Um, I, I, do believe in, I do believe in God, but I just think that, I don't know, I don't believe in a lot of the, like, scriptures and a lot of the, you know, like what people say and... Does, does that sort of make sense? Is the, the, but the scriptures are, are they not written by man? In terms of like those are man's, well, yeah. man's words? Yeah. Right. Or holy book, but then you can say that about all of them though. Okay, let me ask you something. Uh -huh. Do you think human beings, do you think we have flaws? Of course. Yeah. Right. So... Uh, yeah, Richard is definitely got flaws. So we're not perfect, are we? No. Okay. So then if something is written by man, mm -hmm. yeah, Surely there's going to be some flaws in it. Oh right? yeah, definitely. Right? Okay. Um, so, if there was a, so you believe? Do you believe in God? First of all, I do believe in God, but I don't believe in everything that comes along with it. That you shouldn't do this and you shouldn't do that, and you should behave in this way, behave in that way. If that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, so the le legislations and the rules and whatnot, you don't uh, think that's been well, told to it, us? Yeah. Well, the thing is, I think a lot of it is old time and the. Um, the way it's interpreted is older times, you right, know. Right. Like we've been taught this all from our grandmother. Right. So she was obviously brought out in a completely different time that we were brought up in. Okay. And um, we lost faith. Right. You know, like we both lost faith, to be honest. But we still have God in the house. We have. Yeah. Like we were still. But I think I think yeah. it's it's fueled a lot because our mum and like grandmother are quite religious. Do you believe in one God? To be honest, I don't know. I've never sat down and thought. I don't know. What? What do you I, think I believe now? that there's something out there, but I don't know what it is, and I don't know who it is, and I don't know how many of them there are. Do you think it's possible that there could be more than one God? Possibly, yeah. So if I if I, I think asked there's you, one, yeah. it just comes down in different, different forms. forms. Yeah. Okay. So if I asked you, um, and it's the way people see God, right? If, if I asked you, if there's more than one God here, who created the other God? Don't know who created the first God. Well, so here's the thing, you know, like in Islam, when we say, when we talk about God, we, when we describe God, he's the Alpha and the Omega, yeah? He is uncreated by definition. You see, there is a distinction between creation and, and, and the creator. Right. So it's kind of like, uh, the example I would give is like, you know, like if you had a computer game, yeah? You design a computer game, you design this character where he can breathe underwater and he can fly. And these are things obviously that we can't do. Mm -hmm. So we don't comply to those rules. Yeah. Likewise, we know from sci the scientific age that we live in, the universe, yeah? Um, scientists tell us that, uh, first of all, the universe is forever expanding, mm -hmm. okay? Um, that it, because it's forever expanding, there must have been a single point, which we call a singularity point, which mm -hmm. must have been created, mm -hmm. yeah? Um, because atmosphere and stuff doesn't just exist, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? And secondly, it's like, it's like, um, I lost my trailer four because I said that, I don't know why. Um, what was I saying? <laughs> Sorry, I just went blank. Um, I started from somewhere. <laughs> right, uh, no, no, but what, what, so what was the, what was the question I asked you? You asked me if I believe that this. Oh, the creator. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. So, so basically, because we don't comply. Okay, so time and space, yeah, mm -hmm. um, and matter has been created. Right. So if it's been created, uh -huh. yeah, it was the creator that created it. Right. Yeah. So 
it's like if I if I um create matter and time you know time is a creation so I'm beyond time do you get what I'm saying if I was if I was to be a god yeah so right. I'm, like, I don't, I'm not trying to impose that but I'm just you know like yeah, yeah, to yeah, give yeah, you an yeah. example yeah. so God is outside of his of, of his creation okay yeah so he doesn't conform to the rules that he has set for his creation right so therefore it'd be illogical to think that you know um, there would be more than one God for the simple fact that like you see look um, this van here in front of us yeah mm -hmm. how many drivers has it got if it had two, could they go separate ways? No. Right. So, likewise, because there's perfect balance and order in the world and in the universe, yeah, um, and chaos doesn't it doesn't like uh, uh, create order because we have perfect balance. Then, for for there to be more than one god, you'd always have to question who created the other god, especially when one, uh, especially when we say that the one god is. Uh, defined as being uncreated okay. it couldn't happen with two because then you would say and here's the thing even if there was two gods yeah like say for example this this pole here yeah we say uh which god could move it right if one of them could move it and the other one couldn't then the, the one that's stronger we, we're the, we're we're saying it's god yeah 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 because that's obviously the greater yeah. one if they both couldn't move it uh if they if it if it both didn't move mm -hmm. yeah well then clearly there's something that they can't do. Mm -hmm. So by definition, they're not gods. Right. Right. So it only equals to there possibly being one. Does that make sense? I yeah, I get what you're coming from. <clears throat> I do get where you're coming from. But I also agree with my sister in the way of like um, they've taken different forms to teach us lessons along the way. That's what we believe in Hinduism. That when when we believe that our gods have come down and taught us things and. Um, and, and, and help us combat certain situations right. and then we, we see them in, the, in their different faces if that makes sense okay so you yeah. believe that um, God came down in like forms of animals and stuff like that not necessarily animals there are some animal gods as well right. but we've also got I want to say human but it, like a human sort of form okay but not, not human human if that makes sense why would God need to do that I don't know, maybe, maybe his message wasn't coming across or maybe there was something that he believed that we couldn't handle by ourselves. What if he What if he had sent messengers for that particular reason? Here's the thing, if you it have... It could be messengers that we've interpreted. If, if maybe you have... Maybe we haven't interpreted God himself, if that makes sense. Right. Okay, well, you know, that's... Uh, that's probably closer to the three Abrahamic religions mm -hmm. than... Yeah. I mean, here's the thing, you know, when I look at religion, yeah, I see like one straight backbone and I see all these religions mm -hmm. and they all pretty much say the same thing. Mm -hmm. um, it's just like, you know, people have got kind of a spin on it and, and it's it's not even like so drastically different. It's just, it's very small things yeah. well, what, that what, seem to add up that kind of... What we ideally, sorry to cut you off, what no, we but, ideally believe in is that there's three main um, forms of God, right. like we call them Brahma, Vishnu and Mahesh. So okay. we've got the creator, the destroyer, yeah. um, and I forget what the third one is. Is it peace, I think? Or something? Creator, destroyer, and something else ju just to keep balance in the world. That's like the Trinity. Yeah, basically. That, that's what we believe, the Trinity. And all the other gods that we've got that, um, and I'm assuming you're aware of, like, this, this different, like, like there's different churches and different, um, different fields of Christianity. Yeah. There's also a different, like, threads of it. There's also different threads of Hinduism. Okay. Uh, different yeah, Hinduism, um, and different Jainism and stuff. Yeah, right? so we've got Jainism. There's like Swaminarayan. There's um, Vishnu. There's all these different types of like um, and all these different types of temples that that worship a a version of their god. Uh -huh. um, they all respect each other. All believe in each other. But the thing is, it's it's where your belief lies, yeah. and it's what they teach you because they've all taught you completely different things. Yeah. Um, and what it is is that what we believe is that. Um, um, Brahma and Mahesh hasn't come, haven't come really come down. Right. Um, they have come down as allies for the third god, yeah. but the third god's the one that's come down. So let me ask you something. In your religion, what does it say that the purpose of life is? I don't know. To be honest, I, I have no clue. I think I think it's a lot to do with um, helping others. We call it a seva, to sort of help others, aid others as well as yourself. Right. For what purpose, though? I don't know. 
I don't I don't honestly know like what it doesn't you, you don't know the purpose of life it doesn't explain that I mean that's why it, we're it here could, that's got to be it, the biggest question well the thing is it could do and we may have learned it when we were younger but like I said since I since I was 11 I haven't really gone down that route okay that sense, yeah. and is it the same for you mm. let's see we did believe in God a lot before yeah we still do like in times of need you do turn to God and that mm -hmm. but when you're fine just, yeah you know what it is I think it's just pray to one God if that makes sense like you just pray you know there's lots of gods but you're praying to one person and that person's up there if that makes sense that doesn't make sense that's, yeah, it just, that's what we call in Arabic we call it the, the fitra it's yeah. the it's something who, however you want to see God yeah, it's kind of like this and God comes from inside like it's, it's kind of yeah. like this you know if you've ever been in trouble yeah so much trouble that you know that there's no person that's going to be able to save yeah. you from, yeah. from your condition yeah, you ask help within yeah, yeah. exactly you know? and you know it's not from the head because you wouldn't say oh I can do some help right now yeah. you're saying yeah. oh please help me and save me from the situation it's your heart yeah that is that is the you know that in Islam is um, the fitra, yeah, is that everyone is born with that. Even atheists, they go through this feeling, even if they start like contemplating and they start, you know, worshiping their own brain, saying it can't be this and this, that, and the other. Um, still, there is that kind of a, a attachment to cling on and ask for help. Mm -hmm. In 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 Islam, we have the example that you know when the people are out at sea and the waves are crashing and lightning is going down and the people are so scared and they ask for help because they know that any moment, you know. The water is so powerful it could take them right yeah, yeah um and they and they and they plead and they say like you know we'll worship you god please save us and when they do when they are saved then they forget their promise and then they go back to their own, yeah, own ways how they went for. right so that's kind of like when you're in need, when you're in need you get saved and then after that you kind of take it for granted so that's the example that that's given in islam but um so do you believe in revelation you yourself because you said that you have a problem with rules and stuff like that like scriptures that have come down with the actual with the actual message um i believe that there's morals to be learned right. and there's there's messages that do i don't think anyone's come down you don't think what sorry i don't think anyone's come down like that okay um here's the here's the thing yeah you know like if you know like if god came down as a person and stuff yeah or as any type of being where is the test of faith for you to then believe in that mm -hmm. uh, being if they've just come down and told you? It's That's kind of like... Quite, you know, like we've got in our... You know that um, in Nisjan, they've got that big temple, that Swaminarayan temple. Yeah. With them, what they've got is they've got these guys which are like gurus, okay? Yes. And yeah. people pray to them and that's what we don't believe. Right. Okay, because they've got a few... I think they've got about six, seven guys who like... No, no it's one they at the They worship... Main. So much, and they follow them around that, and that's what we don't believe. That someone has come down. How can you worship that person like that? Yeah. How so are they, you they, they worship in them as a god, yeah. Yeah, and they've yeah. got photos in their house of that life person. size pictures. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we have them in in Pakistan, so to speak. We call them pure subs. Yeah, but it's okay is, to do that, but it's not okay to do that. But the thing is, okay, because that's worshiping the creation, not the creator. Yeah, yeah but yeah, the but, thing is, is you don't, you don't. What they have a tendency to do is push it onto other people. Yeah, of course, yeah, you yeah. Know? And, and I think that's the biggest wrong thing. Yeah, I mean, that's... To, you know, that's what we don't believe. Like, that. that's what we... And know, these people that you could be worshipping are probably more simple than you. Yeah. I mean, they are if they're getting people to worship them. Yeah. You know? They're in need of things. They go to the toilet, they eat. Yeah. They're like any other they human being. Them. Yeah. And yet they are claiming, like, divinity or, or some and type of powers and stuff. Said, that's totally wrong. Who's given them that right to be God or act like God, if that makes sense? But then you lose your argument when, when saying that God came down as a as a person or or as a thing. Because that's no, exactly no, that, the that, same. That's what, that's what they've believed in. Like, have you heard of the story of Raman Sita? No. No? Okay, so on Diwali, we've got this thing where um, there was a... Um, I think it's the king's sons or the prince or someone. I don't know who it was, but... Um, his wife was taken away by um, a. We might call it for a, no, no. Um, he might be taken away. Like he was basically, she was taken to the forest. Right. Um, and then he went and saved the day, and then that's why we've got Diwali, basically. Okay. That's what the story is, and it's this really, really, really bad guy that they've said. Yeah. Um, it's this guy's come down and he's defeated him. Right. Um, and that was one of the things that we were fighting against. And then there's another one where um, 
there's what, another. What does that have to do with God, though? Well, that that they said that's a form of you know, like one of the Trinity, uh, Vishnu. Yeah. Vishnu's come down in nine ways already. Okay, so that's what they believe. So he's kind of like, he's like the devil, yeah. No, no, no. He he's the good. Um, oh, he's the good one. He, he's the good one. He's one of the Holy Trinity. Okay. Um, and then it's against forms of basically the devil. But we don't believe in the devil. But it's more just. Evil. It's like evil. a bad god. It's just evil. Yeah. It's evil, basically. Um, so is your good is your good god not powerful enough to eradicate the bad god if he chooses to? Every single time he's come down, apparently he's eradicated him. So. But 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 if the evil if the evil still exists. Yeah. And it's not by it's his permission. The forms that means that they've done. Yeah. That, that See, means. See, the thing is, we we don't we don't really. I don't know. I haven't. I think. I think if I would have learned about the religion at this. No, stage, no, no. But I mean, you yourself. Done, you, know? you understand. You yourself understand what what it is that you're you're saying here. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I. I you're saying there's a good I've, god and yeah. and then there's like a bad god. Yeah. Well, or, or the, form of evil. Yeah. There's there's a form of evil. That's what they believe. So are you saying that the good god cannot eradicate evil completely, and it's not by his permission? It's just, it's there and it's like this continuous battle. I'm assuming so, yeah, because there's, there's always good and evil in the world. But that means that there is something that your God can't do, which makes him a limited God, doesn't it? But then what's happening to all the evil in the world then? Evil, evil in the world is there by, by, by the permission of God because we have a thing called free will. Okay. It's like this. It's like this, yeah? If I was going to go over there and slap that woman, yeah, I, I, no, I, I won't. I need to I get where we're going. No, no, I won't. <laughs> I won't. Um, but if I was going to do that, yeah, yeah, and God stopped me, then I couldn't be judged up, uh, upon it accordingly because that would not be a fair God. Right, how could then. I be held accountable right. for my own actions? Yeah, yeah, and how can I and be, learn from it? Yeah, learn yeah. from it and, and and be punished if, if if I don't repent or whatever the case mm -hmm, may be. Mm -hmm. If I've been, if there's been an inter, in, uh, if it's been intervened, right? Yeah, before I've done it. Yeah. Can so, I ask you something? Yeah. You know these suicide bombers? Which suicide bombs? Um, the ones that... Um, I don't know any personally. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no you know what? They're, they do what they do and then they say it's the name of God. Mm. That's what I don't understand. Yeah, I don't understand either. That's nothing to do I with... Because they say that it's in their religion or whatever. They always say that. Yeah, no, that's nothing to... I, you know what? I don't know any Muslim that would say that's anything. I mean, look, here's the thing. Before you even get into that yet, yeah, you have... What we have is the revelation, the Quran, yeah? yeah. We say that's God's word. Yeah. yeah. It was given to Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. But it's like this. Like you know I was saying that like, the revelation is written by man. Mm -hmm. This is the only scripture that is actually the spoken word of God. So it's like if but I call how you up. Is that provable, though? Okay. Um I, 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 that's a very good question. I'll, I'll, right. I'll answer yeah. you, yeah. It's like this. If I call you and you put my voice on speaker, yeah? It's it, the message is coming from me, isn't it? Not the speaker, right? Yeah. So likewise, that is how it is when Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was given yeah. revelation and he and he conveyed it to the yeah. world. Now, the very good question of how is it provable? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. There are many, many uh, signs and proofs. Okay. For example, and this is a small example. Um, things like stages of embryology. Yeah, something we found out very recently because of the scientific age that we're in. Mm -hmm. That has been in detail described and it is 100% correct. In fact, everything in the Quran is 100% correct. It has not, there's no contradictions. It's never been proven wrong. Scientists have wanted to disprove the Quran and they've come back and they've either testified or they said like, oh, we don't know how this is done. Mm -hmm. and, it's, and so 80% of it has been proven. The 20% that hasn't been proven is because science hasn't caught up with it yet. Okay? okay. These are signs for people to acknowledge. Like, the seven layers over the earth to protect us from the sun. That's also mentioned in the Quran. Mm -hmm. These are things that, you know, we're talking about, it's only, it's only 1400 years ago, but it was at a time when science wasn't at its peak like it is now, mm -hmm. yeah? So they are very, this is a very small example, but surely if there's, if it's written by man, it's gonna be flaws, it's gonna be proven wrong. Yep. There's even a challenge in the Quran because it's the most linguistic um, and academically like the, the fine um, uh, uh, book, yeah? There's a, there's a challenge in the Quran and this is quite a bold statement and it says Sorry, it's here somewhere uh, yeah? yeah it's here it's right here uh, so if you want to just you could stop on the left that's cool oh, okay. yep it says that if if this book is written by man mm -hmm. then produce something like it. Mm -hmm. all this chapter is only three uh, three verses which is ten words uh -huh. and the statement is 
that I even if you're even if you got the whole of mankind you yeah. would never be able to produce anything like it and no one has been able to right so surely if it's written by man we've had very good smart people individuals uh -huh. uh, 1752 yeah cool yeah um, uh, we've had very intellectual people come along people like Shakespeare and you know right, yeah, yeah. all through the ages yeah and yet they've not been able to even come close to you see yeah obviously to go in depth, but I yeah, mean, yeah, yeah. You know what? We'll we'll maybe meet again one day. <laughs> Carry this on. Okay. For more Taxi Dawa videos, please subscribe to the YouTube channel, Taxi Dawa, and Dawa Hour, as well as our Facebook pages. There are a number of them. There's the Taxi Dawa, Dawa Hour, Steps to Allah, Steps to Dawa, Read London, and Wembley Dawa.